Hello students, in this video we'll define the Bernoulli numbers. Let me consider the function f of x, which is x over e to the x minus 1. This function has a removable discontinuity at x equals 0. And I can see that by taking the limit as x goes to 0. The limit as x goes to 0 of x over e to the x minus 1, well, I have 0 over 0, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. By L'Hopital's rule, this is the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over e to the x by L'Hopital's rule, and that will just give me a 1. So this function is equal to 1 at 0. So I can write down its Taylor expansion at x equals 0. So its Taylor expansion, f of x, which is x over e to the x minus 1, is the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of some numbers bn, x to the n over n factorial, and these numbers bn are called the Bernoulli numbers. The Bernoulli com numbers come up in a lot of applications. One famous application is the following. It states that the sum, n k goes from 1 to infinity, of 1 over k to the 2n, is negative 1 to the n plus 1, 2 pi to the 2n, Bernoulli 2n, over 2 times 2n factorial. In other words, the Bernoulli numbers arise in the study of this is the Riemann zeta function over here at 2n. So the Riemann zeta function and the Bernoulli numbers are intimately connected. Okay? Excellent. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find some formulas for these Bernoulli numbers. I'm going to do so by multiplying this expression over here by e to the x minus 1. If we do so, we're going to have the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, of bn x to the n over n factorial, times the Taylor series for e to the x, which is the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. That's e to the x times this. And then just minus the Bernoulli sum over here, n goes from 0 to infinity bn x to the n over n factorial. All this has to be equal to x. So what I have down over here is I have a Taylor expansion on the left-hand side and a Taylor expansion on the right-hand side. I can equate the coefficients. Excellent. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to use the Cauchy product formula. So right over here, we're going to use a Cauchy product. This is a Cauchy product. Okay. And so how are we going to do this Cauchy product over here? We're going to have the sum. n goes from 0 to infinity. Then I have the sum. k goes from 0 to n. Of these terms with a k, so b k over k factorial, and then these coefficients over here with an n minus k for the convolution, n minus k factorial. So we're sort of seeing like a binomial coefficient over here, x to the n, and then that stays put. n goes from 0 to infinity. b n x to the n over n factorial is equal to x. Okay? So we get over here to get some recursion. So let's, let's, let's get our feet wet a little bit and sort of plug in some numbers and see what we get, right? So if I plug in x equals 0, what's going to happen? If I plug in x equals 0, this first coefficient, the coefficient of, if I plug in n equals 0, excuse me, not x equals 0, but n equals 0. So we want n equals 0. So if n equals 0, what are we going to get? Well, there's no constant coefficient over here, so we're going to get what over here? And this first term over here, k goes from 0 to 0. That was only going to be a b0, and that's going to both be a 1. So we get b0 minus b0 is equal to 0. We learn nothing from the n equals 0 term. But what if we look at the n equals 1 term? If we look at the n equals 1 term, what's going to happen? If we look at the n equals 1 term, we're going to have what? We're going to have a, these are like, in, in some sense, if I plug in this, I take this n factorial and multiply by both sides, it won't change anything on this, on this term over here. So especially when n is equal to 1, that won't change anything. So we'll get what? We'll get a b0 and then a plus b1. Then a minus b1 over here has to be equal to 1, right? So we conclude from this that b0 
is equal to one, which is something we already knew, right? Let's see what happens when n is equal to two. When n is equal to two, we're gonna have this binomial structure, because if I take the n factorial and put it over here, that won't affect any of those terms over there. So we'll see over there, and of course, if I put the n factorial over here, I have n choose k, b, k. So I'm gonna have a b zero plus two b one plus b two minus b two is equal to zero. Those b2s cancel out. This is a 1. This is a 1 half. b1 is equal to 0. So that says that b1, the, fir the first Bernoulli number, is negative 1 half. Let's do one more step because I want to find out some properties of the zeta function. If I plug in n equals 3, what's going to happen? We're going to get a b0 plus 3b1 plus 3b2 plus b3 minus b3 is equal to zero, because there's no x cubed coefficient on this side of the equation over here. Now those b3s are gonna cancel out. The b1, the b0 is equal to one. The b1 is negative one half, so that's negative three halves over there, because b1 was negative one half. Plus three, b2 is equal to zero. This of course is negative one half, so that says that b2 is equal to a sixth. So b2 is equal to one sixth. And so if I use this, this fact, which we'll prove in further videos when we learn some properties of the Fourier series and the uh, Parseval theorem in Poisson summation, is we'll be able to deduce what? We'll be able to deduce that when I plug in n equals 1 to this formula, we'll be able to conclude that zeta of 2, which is the sum, n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared, is equal to what? Negative 1 to the 1 plus 1, that's a negative 1 to the 2, that's a 1. This is going to be a 2 pi to the, when well, n's equal to 1, 2, so that's going to be a 4 pi squared, 4 pi squared, times the, when n's equal to 1, I get b2, so that's going to be times a 1 sixth. And then I have a 2 times a 2 factorial, that's a 2 times 2, so let's cancel out over there with that 4. And so we get that zeta of 2 over here is pi squared over 6. So by finding the Bernoulli numbers, we were able to compute, using some complex variables in a, in a future video, that zeta of 2 is pi squared over 6. Thank you very much.